everybody, my name is Shazane, and yep, I wore the same thing I filmed in my September birch box. Today I am going to be filming my very first Q&A, and because it is my very first Q&A, I don't have a ton of questions for you guys, but this gives you an opportunity to go ahead and leave any other question down below in the comments so we can do a second Q&A. I rave and rant about how important it is for me to connect with my subscribers. I want to develop personal relationships. I don't want it just to be me on the screen and you as a comment. I want to know who you guys are. I want to know more about you. So this is a great way to learn about me and to interact with you guys. So without further ado, let's jump into my very first Q&A. The first cut question comes from Ms. Chloe Lackland. Um, what is your long-term goal as a YouTuber and in life as general? Well, as a YouTuber, I really want this to become my career. Um, it's absolutely perfect because one, it's my own hours, first of all, because I'm a stay-at-home mom and I do want more kids down the road, so I need to work when I can. But also, like, I want to be able to travel one day, not like crazy traveling. I won't be able to like go on tours and stuff because I will have you know, young kids, but I would love to visit LA and do a meetup there or to visit New York and do a meetup there. My first ever meetup, if I get to this point ever, I'm calling it right now, I'm telling you right now, my first meetup will be in Boston because it is like my home. Um, so, you know, I really want to connect with you guys. I really want to inspire you guys. I have always felt like a failure my entire life. I always felt like everything I tried and like everything new that I put my mind toward, I failed or I quit at one point or another. And YouTube is one of those things that I won't lie to you, I've won a quit before because I've been discouraged or I felt like I wasn't talented enough that nobody wanted to watch me. So I was like, well, what's the point of me making videos if nobody's going to watch? But the, the, pro the, pa the problem with that is that I loved it so much that when I tried to quit, I missed it. I missed YouTube like crazy and I'm like, I don't care if anybody watches my videos. I mean, I do, but I was going to make them regardless of if anybody watched my videos because it was like a craving to get on camera. I found something that I think I'm good at and that I really, really, really love and that works with my crazy schedule. So, I mean, my long time YouTube career goal is to just, uh, my long term goal for YouTube is to make it a career. Um, and in life, in general. Um, again, I want YouTube to be a steady career. Um, my goal is just to raise my family and be, you know, a mother that I can be a stay-at-home mom but still do YouTube and still make money, but nothing is more important to me than staying home with my babies. I remember growing up, my mom was a stay-at-home mom, and even to this day, I really appreciate all the time I had gotten with her as a kid. You know, my memories are not of her going off to work, and then I don't see her at six. And don't get me wrong, like, you gotta do what you gotta do, and if you have a career that you love, and you still gotta do that and leave your babies, there's totally nothing wrong with that. But for me, it's just not my thing. I. From the very beginning, I said I want to be a stay-at-home mom. From Fatima, I'm going to butcher your last name. It's it's simple, but it's like Versi, Versi. I'm really sorry. Fatima, let me know. I, that's another one uh, subscriber that I always connect to. Her question was, what would be your ideal career? Um, and, oh, there's this two parts. Okay, so what would be my ideal career is YouTube. Um, not necessarily just staying with YouTube. You know, YouTube can open so many doors to a career choice. So this is absolutely my starting point and I wanna see where YouTube will bring me in the future. Her second question is, what is the hardest part of vlogging every day? Vlogging <laughs> every day, and let me elaborate. Um, I won't lie to you, there's days where I don't want to turn on the camera, I am not in a good mood, I am sad or I'm angry or sometimes I just don't want to, but I made it a commitment to you guys and to myself to vlog every day and I love it more than anything and 9 times out of 10 if I turn on the camera when I'm angry 
by the end of the day, I feel much better. So not only, you know, am I getting content out to you guys, but I'm kind of giving myself my own therapy. I feel like it's a very healthy way to express my anger and just to talk to somebody. I know you guys can't, like, talk to me right back at this very moment. Of course, I see your comments always. I always see my comments um, after a video has been posted, but it's very, very therapeutic to be able to talk freely and not be in interrupted and not have to look at somebody in the face when I'm talking about something embarrassing or just something that's really bothering me. I'm not a big confrontation person. I'm very socially awkward so this is extremely easy for me to just sit in my room and talk to my iPad. I'm essentially talking to myself right now. But yeah, the hardest part about vlogging every day is just vlogging every day. <laughs> From Helen Scheip, I'm probably butchering that one too, I'm really sorry. Uh, she, uh, hers is also a, like, more than one question. question. Uh, she has numerous ones. The first one is, what's your favorite type slash genre of music? Uh, I'm not a huge, huge fan of music. Um, when I'm in the car, I don't listen to the radio very often. Um... My favorite type of music though, like if I'm going to listen to music, nine times out of ten it's country, but whenever anybody asks like what's my favorite type, I always tell them country, but I said I'm very open-minded with music because it's not such a big part of my life that I'm like die hard for a certain genre. Um, as long as it's not like heavy metal or a lot of rap I don't like, I'm not saying every rap song I don't like, um, but those are the genres I kind of lean back from but I'm very very open if I like a song it doesn't really matter what genre is I'm gonna like it her second question is what is your favorite food <sighs> good question I don't think I have a favorite food either I love Italian food um you know pizza's great pasta's great I don't have like a very specific dish that I love but Unfortunately, I am a very picky eater in the sense of where I'm like very, I'm very generic with my food. Like if I go anywhere, I'm most likely ordering chicken fingers or chicken pie or I don't eat burgers very often. They just don't really appeal to me that much. I'd pr probably prefer hot dogs, um, but I get like the most like American generic things I can possibly find. I do not like trying new food. Like, it's my least favorite thing to do. I'm like, nope, I don't. I just don't. I don't. Um, her third question. Can you teach us how to do a quick and easy messy bun hairstyle? Um, of course I can. If you guys ever want a video requested, um, just leave it on my most recent video. Like, even if it has nothing to do with the video. Um, because like I said, I always see my comments. So, Absolutely, I will. I'm gonna write that down in my notebook. I have like a YouTube notebook where I write down all my video ideas. Um, but if you want that, like as soon as possible, let me know and I'll make it a priority. But other than that, I will definitely film it for you guys. From Josh Movies, what do you think is the hardest part about being a YouTuber? Oh, um negative comments and being put down in ways that I had never been put down before. Um, you know, I mean, people are brutal behind the screen. I mean, they are mean and they'll say anything to get to you. And unfortunately, I'm an extremely sensitive person and I take a lot to heart. Um, and that's something I'm definitely working on because this is an extremely demanding career and you're gonna get a lot of negative comments. I mean, the positivity is everywhere. I haven't gotten a negative comment in a long time, but when they do come, they really, really stick out in my mind. So personally, for me, it's the negativity and dealing with that, but that's just a personal problem problem that I have to overcome. Um, you know, for the boy next door on his computer, it might be a different thing. Um, but it is an extremely demanding and a harsh job sometimes. Uh, another question from Helen Scheidt. Now I'm just going down my comments to see any that I missed. Um, she asked if I have a Snapchat. I do, but I barely use it. But if you guys want to send me snaps, that'll be so funny. Like, I love 
looking at snaps. I just don't send any of my own. Like, I am much too busy recording everything. I just, that's one of those things I just don't pay attention to. Um, right now, my phone is broken, so I have to upload it to my, uh, uh, install it on my iPad. Not a big deal, but I think my name is Shanna Zone. So it's like S H A N I. Z O E N. I, it'll be down in the description below. I'll figure it out, but I think it's Shanazone. So if you want to add me on it, you're more than welcome to. A uh, question from Luke Clark, who actually has my maiden name. It was awesome. Um, how long have I been doing this? So um, he had commented on a vlog. So I, I'll answer this two ways. Um, a vlogging I've been doing for a couple months. Um, probably maybe like regular regularly like my everyday schedule probably two months I might be off but it, it feels about that long um how long I've been on YouTube for I've had two channels my first channel I was on for two years and this channel I'm on for two years so all together four years I've been on YouTube Okay, so I am scrolling back and I'm finding the original questions that I had answered for you guys. So that's going to be it. Again, I would love to do another Q&A. Um, I don't ask for Q&As on uh, Twitter because I really don't have many of you guys following me, which is totally fine. I'm just saying, like, don't try to ask me questions on Twitter. Um, you can just go ahead and leave it down in the comments. Once we get this ball rolling, then I will put a hashtag that you can ask your questions on Twitter. But for now, it's kind of pointless. But again, thank you guys so much for your questions. I love answering them. This is one of my favorite videos, and I knew it would be. That's why I was like, please ask me questions, because I'm dying to do a Q&A with you guys. So please leave a big thumbs up if you enjoy. You can also subscribe if you don't want to miss any new videos. I'm on Instagram and Twitter, both at Shazone, Snapchat, I believe at Shanazone. Remember that every Friday there's a list also down in the description below with a whole list of videos that you can choose from for next week. If you want to see one, let me know and I will make it a priority. But other than that, that's it. I'll see you next week. Bye guys!